I want you to know that I'm Al. Fuck, I love it. Oh, thing of beauty and wonder. Mm, as usual. <laughs> and yes. Well, my background is music. I, I went to to university and did a degree in opera uh, when I was very young and then decided a couple of years in that I just wasn't crazy enough about opera to do it exclusively. I am a composer and write music for stage and I'm hoping to branch out into film a little bit more as well. And um, It's great, it's a great, uh, another hat to have. It's been ringing non-stop all day. I have found that I'm having distracted. Sort of a basic knowledge of some of the programs that the engineers use in the studio, Pro Tools and other programs like that. And also having a knowledge of mic technique, but from the engineer's side, you can't do anything but help you as an actor in the studio as well. So um, all of these things give you brand new perspectives on, on what it's like to be on this side of the camera or of the mic. And really, at the end of the day, how pampered we all are on this side, you know? Even though you knew the message was incomplete, you decided that there were only three notes. You never... Sorry, I had a little stroke there. That's fine, we can nudge it. Moving on. <laughs> That's why you're the best, Carl. You only <laughs> demand the most from us. Yeah, I'm really taken aback at the uh, sort of avant-garde use of sound in some of it, and um, just the choices that are made speaking from a sound perspective and the design um, are really striking and not run of the mill at all. No, oh, well, if there is another notebook floating around out there and someone is now using it to kill criminals, I'll just have to bring that person to justice. Oh, I started off as an actor when I was just in high school and I've been acting since 46. So went to theater school and uh, from there to professional theater. I've been voice acting for about 25 years. Gentlemen, it's an honor to meet all of you. I was the head of the opera program at University of British Columbia and um, uh, the head of the voice program for the last uh, 20 years I was there. Some of the shows I've worked on, uh, Inuyasha for one, Transformers, Puka, which is I've just finished doing, Martha Speaks, which I'm doing now, He-Man, um, good Lord, there's a list that as long as my arm and I get typecast for a lot of stuff. I do a lot of Santa Claus. I, I've been doing Santa Claus forever, and I, I do a lot of old guys, a lot of lawyers, a lot of doctors, um, um, sage-type fellows who seem to know everything and usually end up get killed the first half of the show. But by and large, that's what, it, what I do. Excellent. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> Carl has always been a great teddy bear of a director. He's really a great guy to work with. Working with other directors like Carl is really quite easy because everybody has their own concept of what they want to begin with. I do too as, uh, as an actor, but by the same token, um, it's a cooperative uh, venture to, to listen to someone else and try their ideas too. Ryuzaki, is something the matter? What is it? Perfect. I really enjoyed uh, watching Alessandro take this character and turn it into his own. You know, he really, he really sort of took it and made it something wonderful, I think. Uh, so it was, it was just a lot of fun to work with him. It's been a lot of fun to work with everybody. I think there's a lot of really good people on this, but uh, it's been fun with Els. It's just interesting because he is so quirky and you have to be able to convey that believably and he did a great job, I think. Hmm, interesting. The corner of the page of this notebook has been torn off. Can you kill someone just by writing their name on it? Nudgeable. I would say so. Lovely. A lot of times you'd try and push him in a certain way, or the picture would obviously uh, require uh, him to be a certain way, but uh, there was a lot of opportunity for him to kind of throw, throw in some oddball choices that really worked well. So he had some really good instincts, great intuition. I thought I might help you out. You were busy wiping yourself off anyway, right? I can give you a massage as well. 
It's the least I can do to atone for my sins. I'm actually pretty good at this. It's kind of great. <laughs> yeah? That's Did we walk the line there? I huh? think so. Yeah? I think so. L is pretty hard to encapsulate. He is an enigma. Um, he is the guy that if he got on the subway with you, you'd move to the other end of the car, I think. He's uh, obviously a genius of sorts, full of surprises. Watery. Excellent. What, what Watery has, um, all, in my mind, he also is kind of a, a father figure to, to Elle. And um, because of that, he, um, he has a lot more power than one would suspect. And I, I, I like that aspect of him. It's always a great marriage when, when all of the elements of a show line up and are in sync. And it really seems to be with this show that that's the case. And his moment of death, the, even the drawing starts getting, uh, has this whole other look to it as well. Um, I mean, yeah, he's been a pivotal part of the series up till then. He's been one of the two pillars. You take one of those away, you got to make it memorable. When I finally, you know, got to see it, and of course when we got, went in to record it, it's, uh, I think, oh, darn. You know, it was such a great character that it was almost a shame to see the end of that cat and mouse situation between Elle and Light. And that was really what the show had been about up to that point that dynamic between them. A lot of it is driven by the plot, but then the character is so important that uh, I knew that, okay, as soon as Elle's gone from the equation, okay, now what's gonna happen, where's it gonna go? With the new characters coming in, is that gonna be a positive thing, negative thing? It was, I thought it was a challenge to make that jump. Oh yeah, they have a real affinity for each other. I mean, I think they find, in a really twisted way, they are the only person the other can relate to in the world and the only true peer that the other one has. And they find each other. Unfortunately, they're each other's nemesis. The show isn't black and white. That's what makes it good. That's what makes it interesting. But uh, I think any redemptive qualities that the Light had early on, he lost pretty quick. Tell me, Light, from the moment you were born, has there ever been a point where you've actually told the truth? But I'm L, and I'm biased. Light's biggest flaw, if there is one, is probably is his convincing himself that he knows exactly what to do. Because not everybody can do that with great conscience. Yes, I think Light is very naive. And at the same token, he's, he's our young hero. That makes him also kind of an anti-hero, doesn't it? If you think about what may happen after the series is over, or further down the road, um, I'd worry a little bit about Light. Some of my uh, most memorable scenes uh, in the in the anime, and there certainly were all, uh, several, but would be colored by the recording sessions. So things just things that went on and just the way they came together. Uh, but I know one for sure was the ice cream sequence with the task force. Was uh, I think uh, once that he went out and got ice cream, and you, you have to see it. Uh, but it was just it just made us laugh a lot. The chief got three scoops. Everybody else got two. That was a nice touch. Really good, just get into the slurp sooner. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> kind of great. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Maybe we all, on some level, know when we're going to go. Certainly, I think he did. I think he knew it was coming. Yes. The sound of the bell has been unusually loud today. Hmm? I don't hear anything. Really? You can't hear it? Look at L always has another angle that he's playing uh, apart from the surface one. He's too smart a cookie not to leave a few traps behind him. Disappeared? What's going on? Everyone, the Shinigami. Uh. That was perfect. Yeah, that was... <clears throat> Excellent. I think we've got it. 
dead. Look at that. You're dead. Come on down. Greetings, fans. I am Hell. I wish you all to prepare your white sweatshirts, blue jeans, hair gel, and eyeshadow. And this Halloween, we will take the world by storm.